Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And as you can see, we have a different view on this video. It's because I will show you how to have this without some kaching kaching. And in this tutorial, we will use simple materials so you can have a mini collection of your own belt. So don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe with the notification bell on so you will know what belt we will create next. So let's start. Like I said earlier, we will use simple materials to create our own belts. And here are the materials. The first step that we need to do is have our printouts or the drawing of the belt cut out and stick it to the folder. The reason that we need to do this is to create a layer on the belt so that it will not look like a flat plate. The next step is to add the contact cement or glue on the folder so that we can stick the cutouts to the folder and wait for it to dry. In this case, since this is a contact cement, we need to wait 15 minutes for it to dry now before we stick the cutouts onto the folder. After 15 minutes, we can go ahead and stick the cutouts to the fold, and then we can cut it away. And here are the cutouts! Now the next step is a bit dangerous if you don't know how to use a cutter. So as an adult, supervision to do this step so that you will be safe. But for the adults, you can just proceed with this step. In this step, we need to cut some of the designs to look like the plate size a layer. So that once we add some paint on it, we will have a boundary on where the paints will go. After cutting all the designs, we will cut the outer part of the plates using a scissor so that we can have a pattern onto the cardboard once we stick it together. As you can see, I cut the letterings, the middle globe, and the middle part of the side plates and set it aside because we will need them later. And there you have it! We now have the cutouts for the plates. The next step is for the plates to be glued onto the cardboard. As you can see here, I already have the cardboard and we will use the same method as we have earlier in which we will add some contact cement onto the cardboard and we will wait 15 minutes for it to dry before placing the cutout plates on top of it. After 15 minutes, we can now place the plates on top of the cardboard and we can now cut it using a scissor and paint it. But in this step, I added a glue on top of the plates and let it dry overnight. And the reason for that 
is to have a smooth finish on the plate before painting it. But this is just an optional step and you can still proceed in cutting the plate. I also added glue on the leverings to have a smooth finish once we stick it to the plates. Again, this is an optional step. Once the glue on the plates has dried up, we can now go ahead and paint the plates using a silver spray paint. Once the glue on the plates has dried up, we can now go ahead and paint the plates using a silver spray paint. Here's the result of the silver paint. This step is an optional if you want your plates to bend. You can use a super glue on the sides so that it will stay the same shape. Now we can go ahead and trace the belt strap using another piece of cardboard. Once we trace and cut the bell strap, we will spray paint it with black color. Ta-da! Here is our cut out bell strap. We will now go ahead and spray paint it with a black spray paint. We will coat it two times and let it dry overnight. Alright, this is the time where we can go ahead and paint the plates. You can use an ordinary paint, but in my case, I'll use a spray paint and use a toothpick so that the paint will just stay on the edges and not on the other places. If you don't have any toothpick, you can just use an ordinary paint. On this part, I don't have any purple paint, so 
so I'll just mix the red and blue spray paint to have a purple color. And there you have it, our painted main plate. We didn't add paints on the side plates since on the original belt, they don't have additional paints on it. Once the paint has dried up, we can now add glue to the additional plates that we cut and stick it on the main plates. This is how the belt plates will look once we glue the other cutouts on the plate. Since I have square shape like diamonds, I have gone ahead and glued it to the plates to make it look more presentable. But this is just an optional step, and you can glue the other design that was originally cut out on the plate. And there you have it, the completed plates. Now all we have to do is to glue the plates to the belt strap. The last step is for us to glue the plates on the strap, so I've gone ahead and add contact cement at the back of the plates and wait for it to dry so that we can stick it onto the strap. And for the finale, we are going to stick the plates onto the strap. To make sure that the plates will not take off immediately, you can add contact cement on the strap. And there you have it, we now have our own belt in which this is the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. If you have a belt curl or snaps, you can add it on the end of the belt so that you can press in it. I hope you liked this mini tutorial and I am looking forward to creating more belts with you guys. Again, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel so that you will be informed what belt are we going to create next. And as always, see ya!